What's up guys, it's Elisa from Safe Sweat here and today I'm gonna be discussing strength training specifically for women. So this is a topic I'm pretty passionate about, being a woman myself who strength trains and also a personal trainer that has the opportunity of working with other women on strength training. So I actually got into personal training after about a decade of strength training myself and reaping all the amazing benefits and getting to experience firsthand how it positively affected my life. And I also did my undergrad in kinesiology, which is the study of human movement and involved courses on the topics of exercise science, workout programming, but also things like neuroscience and behavioral psychology, which I think facilitated this overall kind of deep understanding of why and how strength training is so, so important and especially for women. So before we get into it, I wanna debunk the myth that still is out there that strength training and lifting heavy weights as a woman will make you bulky or look like a man. I find this kind of funny because honestly, like I'm over here training all the time, trying to put on muscle and it is really, really hard to do. So trust me when I say you're not going to spontaneously erupt all this muscle. It takes really diligent workout programming as well as a lot of protein to actually build muscle, which the average woman just isn't going to prioritize in her day-to-day -day life. The other thing is strength training and putting on muscle is very dose dependent. So if you don't want to get too bulky, you don't want too big of shoulders, then just don't hit your shoulders so often. And if they're getting too bulky, just stop. Like it's very easy to control the way that your body looks. It's very hard to get it to a point where you look manly. So with that out of the way, let's now get into the actual benefits of strength training. And I don't necessarily mean lifting super heavy weights, right? Strength training can involve simply body weight exercises, the cables, resistance bands, and you don't have to go to your max every time. In fact, you shouldn't. However, it's also important to note that if you are training with super low weights and doing kind of the same thing over and over again, your body does adapt to it and you don't quite keep getting the same benefits. So progressive overload, which means increasing the intensity, the volume, the weight that you do over time, is one of those principles that is super important for continuing to progress to reap the benefits of strength training. So the number one reason that I actually strength train, I will admit, is to be lean or skinny or whatever you wanna call it, the opposite of having too much body fat. So putting on muscle, having more muscle mass makes you more resistant to gaining fat. It makes your body burn more calories at rest because muscle is metabolically active tissue. And what that means is it's just using up energy, which comes from fat or glucose, but that's a whole nother story, um, at rest. So the more muscle you have, the more calories you can burn from simply doing nothing. So I think a lot of women can relate to wanting to not only look good aesthetically by having less body fat, but from a health perspective, having excess body fat leads to a plethora of unhealthy outcomes. So the second most important reason to me for strength training is for the mental health benefits. So we all know exercise releases endorphins, um, which are the happy chemicals that can act as antidepressants or painkillers even. It's also been shown that strength training specifically increases estrogen production in women. So that's the hormone that is dominant at the beginning of our cycle when we're feeling good and energized and tends to dwindle towards the end before we get our period. And so this leads to fatigue, grogginess, mood swings, um, all the unpleasant symptoms of PMS. So having more balanced hormones leads to better mental health outcomes. And also I find the actual activity of strength training to be very therapeutic because it's an opportunity for you to, you know, unplug and focus on yourself and your own health and wellness and physical and mental well-being without any distractions in a safe setting, if you're a safe setting. Another huge benefit of strength training is its impact on sleep and getting better sleep. So not only does strength training tire you out a little bit more throughout the day, so you conk out at the end of the day, but it's actually been shown to release this um, neurochemical called adenosine, which facilitates sleep. It causes drowsiness and sleepiness. 
Strength training also facilitates our functional movement patterns and creates strength within them. So that includes things like walking, sitting, getting up, and especially lifting things. So I'm not a mom yet, but as a woman carrying children, um, strength training has a whole host of benefits in terms of you know doing that safely and preventing potential injury when picking up your kids or playing around with them, roughhousing, whatever. Um, you definitely want to have muscles that are prepared for that type of load. And the final reason that I really think women should be prioritizing strength training is because we're at a much higher risk for osteoporosis than men, which is the loss of bone mineral density, especially as we age, where strength training has been shown to have a positive effect on that, actually increasing or preventing the loss of bone mineral density. So I hope that convinced you to start incorporating some strength training into your routine. I'm also very curious to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions and maybe some other tips that you have. So if you have any, leave a comment below and be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.